Step 1 is done through a hierarchy of steps. This step is completed to assess if the client has the visuospatial and symbolic skills necessary for matching objects with line drawings of the object. Step 2 involves object use training. This is to ensure that the client has the necessary praxis skills to correctly manipulate a real object. The client will need to pick up and position the item and demonstrate its accompanying action. Step 3 involves an action picture demonstration. This is a non-scorable step. This step is completed so that the client has an understanding and appreciation that the action picture represents a command to actually pick up the real object and carry out its intended command. Step 4 involves following action picture commands. The client must correctly choose the object from a field of five and manipulate it appropriately and demonstrate its corresponding action. Step 5 is where the gestures are demonstrated to the client. This is to show that pantomimed gestures can take the place of or represent the object. In step 6, the client must show that they associate the pantomime gestures with the corresponding objects they represent. Step 7 is accomplished when the clinician teaches the client to produce appropriate gestures for each of the trained objects. Step 8, Representation of Hidden Objects Demonstrations. The client must be able to understand that representational gestures can stand for hidden objects. Step 9, Production of Gestures for Hidden Objects. The client is asked to gesturally 
represent hidden objects, to convey a message about something that cannot be seen.